Hey cuties and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be sharing all of my presets that I currently have in my game. As always, you can find links to everything in the description down below. I also have done a bunch of these videos showcasing one category of my game like hair, makeup, skin details, clothing items for both male and female sims, but also kids and toddlers and infants in the past. So I'll make sure to link you to the playlist right now if you're interested in any of those videos but today we're going to have a look at eyes noses and lips so i hope you are excited for this i have been meaning to do this video for a very long time but you know um just never gotten around to it because it was a little bit intimidating just because if you don't know about the sims 4 tray importer this is going to be like new information for you but you can pretty much get a program where you can find the cc that you use on every sim that you have saved to your gallery so when i do cc videos like this on other categories in the game let's say clothing items or hair or whatever i can obviously just save a bunch of different hairstyles to one sim and upload them to the gallery and then check which ones they are like what i've used and find them on google but with presets as you know i can only choose one nose one eye pair of eyes one pair of eyes one eye sounds so weird <laughs> one pair of eyes and some lips so you know um I, if i don't know what a certain preset is it takes forever to find them because i need to save so many individual sims it was a bit of a mess a bit daunting but we got there in the end i was like working on this all day but i really wanted to get it out because i've been meaning to do this forever presets are like some of my favorite things to download i feel like along with skin details because they just change your sim so much i also have not mentioned this at the start but it is international women's day today so happy international women's day to all of you beautiful girlies out there i hope you're having a great day today you know celebrate yourself of course i have been doing this this was like <laughs> my contribution to <laughs> international women's day apparently but it is all right i did start kind of late my sleeping schedule is all over the place lately i have been kind of busy i mean i had an exam and then after that i was super tired but i also had like a bunch of things to do because i'm currently looking for a new roommate to move in in april my old roommate is moving somewhere else so oh my god it's been a roller coaster last saturday oh my god last saturday we had so many people i think there were six people two of them were through video call which was even more awkward than having people here in person luckily my current roommate is like very sociable and very extroverted and outgoing so he kind of took the lead and did everything and like showed them the apartment and i was just like a little duckling just like following everywhere and i was like mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> but um we met a few different people that could be my potential next roommates but it's so hard to pick i honestly thought because there were six people and i feel like only with two of them i had like a definite feeling of like no i do not want them to move in but with the other four i just thought they were all nice two of them were definitely like more my favorite over other the other people but it was so hard to dissect my feelings about it i usually have a very good gut feeling i would say and i'm very <laughs> happy about that because i usually just rely on it usually it is the right thing to rely on your gut feeling anyways so you should always do that if you can <laughs> but i didn't have like a very distinct feeling i didn't i just you know usually with those big decisions i can tell who i like and who i don't like and i thought it was going to be like that i thought there's going to be six people here and i'd be like this one person is perfect and i don't want any of the rest but I didn't feel like that so that was great <laughs> and now um there's like two guys it was so annoying because i kind of wanted to live with a female but my roommate has asked on his instagram and like he just knows so many freaking people so a lot of people have come forward to be like oh a friend of a friend's is looking for an apartment or whatever and we invited i think he invited two women and four men because he said most of the women that asked were like very young and 
around like early 20s or 18, 19, which I don't want to live with someone that young. Like I feel like being in around about the same age is very helpful. <laughs> Um, so yeah, it, there just weren't that many women and it was a shame because like the two women that we had over it just didn't really click or like the circumstances didn't really align with like me having cats and stuff like that. I don't know. I just didn't feel very like it didn't click that well. But there's two guys now that are in like the closer picks. I don't know. What would you call that? Who knows? <laughs> But um, they're so different. That is what I'm trying to wrap my head around because one of them is quite nerdy. I'm also sorry if you can hear my cat, but I closed my door to record my voiceover because I don't know if my roommate is coming back and I don't want to have to deal with that. <laughs> so my door is closed, but the cat is a little bit confused. So you can probably, you know, she just literally was woo right in front of the mic and apparently hitting it as well. Recording when you have cats is a little bit of a mess. I swear to God, they sleep all day. And then as soon as I record, they're like, meow, 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 meow. <laughs> but anyways they're so different like one of them is more nerdy a little bit more quiet even though I don't know if he was quiet he was a little awkward I have to say he was like oversharing in certain areas where some people might have not overshared <laughs> which was like he was nice but I didn't get a proper feel of his personality I don't know if that makes sense but like in the end he was really cute he was like oh also like sometimes I stay up gaming so I'm like on a discord call which I hope you don't mind that and I was like oh my god me too <laughs> so that was like a bit of a bonding thing and I thought that was cute how he was like so worried about mentioning that so um that was kind of cute and then the other guy is so much more outgoing and I feel like he is very similar to my current roommate so I feel like if I want to avoid having a big change of scenery <laughs> it would make sense they're also like I think that guy is one of the people that he knows a lot better than the other people that came over and he was sadly only here over a video call but he was so freaking nice and it wasn't awkward like at all he was just very chatty and like I don't know it just kind of felt more like a friendship type of situation rather than them trying to apply for in it's literally like job interviews I swear to god some of them felt like job interviews and I was like oh my god stop like this makes me feel so awkward uh, <laughs> but yeah so that is gonna be interesting I do, honestly do not know who I should pick it is very difficult for me I don't know I wish it was different um the guy who like the more outgoing one is not living close by though so he also like this is the main issue he has a cat allergy which he knew before that there's cats here but he said he did live with three cats before and i'm not allergic myself so i have no idea how this works <laughs> honestly but he said like he gets it with certain cats but not others and i've heard that from some people i've talked to actually now who have allergies or know people with allergies and said yeah some animals are just they're fine with them and others are awful but i mean i have a long-haired kitty and he does you you know there's a lot of shedding especially during the summer months that I don't know I've, I, I don't know maybe it's fine if I mean he did say the guy who we video called did say like when he lived with those three cats that the place he lived in was not kept as neatly as it was here which I'm not that neat so I don't know what he saw through the video call but I mean I guess the other place must have been a bit like kept as a bit of a mess because it's tidy but it's not like clinically clean in my apartment if you get me um like I, I'm not the person who vacuums every single day because she has animals I'm kind of just like whatever I you know it's fine I do it like once a week and that's fine but anyways um we will see he will come over on Sunday actually to check out how it is with the cats and I feel like after that's over I'll see how that went and how I feel and what we're gonna do but I also have a pen and paper we're starting a pen and paper tomorrow with my family so the weekend is it just seems so busy that I don't know when to even stop and think about what I want to do <laughs> and it really just bugs me that it's not that clear of a decision oh my god this cat is gonna drive me crazy like honestly she's been chilling all day and now she's just jumping all over the place 
I mean, it kind of fits um, this video. I feel like the whole video is all over the place. But either way, I hope you did enjoy seeing all of my presets that I have in game. I could do the same for males. And I also have like some body presets and ear presets and like other facial ones that I haven't gotten into yet. But let me know if you would like to see that. And I hope you enjoyed the video today. And if you did, please don't forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe if you have not already. And I will see you all next time. Bye.